all right. Uh, I, I, I knew you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so, first of all, I'm very appreciative that you, you know, that I'm part of your, your day um, in which this announcement uh, got out, um, that you made it. So why? Why now, Malcolm Jenkins, for you? Well, I, you know, I think for me, um, you know, every year I, I came into the league, you know, wanting to get to 10 years, right, knowing that that, is what I thought a respectable career was. Um, <laughs> and realistically, you realize how hard that is to accomplish. But when I look back over the 13 seasons, you know, I, I've come, I've done what I came to do, you know, in this league. And I think it, the cost of playing at a high level, at least for me, it takes, it, it takes me sacrificing, you know, my time, my body, energy. I put everything I have into the game. Um, and that's just how I'm wired. And so I've been doing it so long for the game that I'm actually, the last five years, I've really been building kind of my team and, you know, my businesses and, and other interests and investing in different parts of who I am as a person. And I just am ready to now do something else. Like I'm ready to put that same drive and energy that people know me for on the football field and put it towards, you know, uh, other aspects of, you know, my life, my businesses uh in my other interests and and obviously my family you know i got two two little girls who mm. you know are playing sports now and doing all these things and and while they probably enjoy coming to my games you know i'm enjoying going to theirs and, and being around more and, and, and being able to raise you know my kids the way that i want um all of that you know leads me to the tough decision of letting go of the game that i've been playing since you know i was seven years old but i think based on all the things I've done in life that I've accomplished, I've at least uh, gotten to this point and, and know that I am blessed and grateful and and privileged, really, to be able to walk away from the game on my own accord. That That isn't really afforded to many people in, in this sport, and professional sports in general. Uh, and so I'm extremely grateful for the game. I'm humbled by the people I've met along the way, the cities that I've been a part of, the franchises. All of that has made me who I am today. Well, and, and, and you just mentioned about, you know, the longevity and the really impressive part about it, too. Uh, I have you know, NFL Network sent out to all of us a, you know, a package of, of statistics once you made your announcement, Malcolm. And the one thing that just leaps out to me is since 2014, okay, so the, the second half of your career, you're one of only a, six players to start 128 games in the NFL, and you're tops by far in terms of safeties and passes defensed in that time period. So what what did you do to have to get ready that you're kind of now uh, pleased to have in your rearview mirror to have that sort of uh, longevity? Yeah, I think, you know, longevity, we talk about in our league all the time, you know, accountability and availability, availability being the two things that, you know, every successful player has to have. Um, and availability – so oftentimes is out of players' control. You know, injuries are part of the game. We've seen careers altered or ended uh, over and over again due to injuries, the violent nature of, of what we do. Um, and so I've been extremely lucky to not have any of those, you know, major injuries. And then, uh, but also, you know, I've, I put a lot of work into my body and preparing for the long season to be able to not only – um, survive it, but to thrive in it. And, and I've definitely, you know, put in the work knowing that I'm an integral part of every team or have been an integral part of every team that I've been on. And me not being available is, is also hurting the team. And at least that's how I was raised when I came in the league. And that's what I have kind of, you know, always stood on. And to be able to look at how many games played, how many snaps were played. Um, you know, last year I missed the first game since – I missed a game. It was the first time I missed a game since 2013, and I missed it due to COVID. You know, I'm not even hurt. And right. so it's, it's one of those things that I, I, I look back and I realize I'm ex- extremely blessed. <laughs> and after 13 years, every time I start touching the field, you're like, ah, you're wondering if my luck is going to run up. But, man, I'm, I'm glad to walk away from this game with my, my mind intact, my body intact. Uh, I feel good. And that's, you know, as a player, that's all you can ask for. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 